Not even two years have passed since Angelina Jolie elected to have a double mastectomy to reduce her chances of developing cancer. Now the 39-year-old has made another drastic choice to protect her health, but she's cautioning other women about following suit. Here's ABC's Cecilia Vega. A very private decision from one of Hollywood's most public people. Angelina Jolie revealing today that a recent blood test detected what could be signs of early ovarian cancer. And so last week, the superstar had her ovaries and fallopian tubes removed, a preventative surgery that she calls the best option. Jolie writing in the New York Times today, I went through what I imagine thousands of other women have felt. I told myself to stay calm, to be strong, and that I had no reason to think I wouldn't live to see my children grow up and to meet my grandchildren. It is the same disease that killed her mother, Marceline, in 2007. At 39 years old, Jolie says she couldn't risk it. When that, those type of things happen in life, you just want to meet your grandkids. You don't think beyond that. You want to be around in 20, 30, 40 years. You want to be alive and healthy. Jolie is one of the most beautiful women alive. The smoldering star of Lara Croft and Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You still alive, baby? Not to mention a famed humanitarian, Mrs. Brad Pitt, and a mother of six. But now, this is her second stunning health admission. Nearly two years ago, Jolie underwent a preventative double mastectomy after testing positive for the cancer-causing gene mutation BRCA1. Women who carry the gene have a 65% risk of breast cancer and a 39% risk of ovarian cancer, that disease that killed Jolie's mother. She was just a very, very loving person. She was completely full of love and kindness. She's taught me a lot about the importance of that, of just being, just, just everyday kindness. And I think it's the, it's the most important thing about being a mom, just letting the kids know how much they make you happy. Of the 20,000 American women diagnosed each year with ovarian cancer, more than half will die from it. While we have a good screening test for breast cancer, we do not have a good screening test for ovarian cancer. And frequently, ovarian cancer is detected at later stages when the survival and the prognosis is not as good. Now, Jolie wants women to know they have options. I want other women to hear this, she writes. A positive BRCA test does not mean a leap to surgery. The most important thing is to learn about the options and choose what is right for you personally. In 2013, Jolie's double mastectomy announcement caused what Time magazine dubbed the Angelina effect, prompting more women than ever to get genetic testing for cancer, a reaction that surprised the star as she told George Stephanopoulos last year. I didn't expect there to be so much support. And I was very moved. And most of all, I was stunned that the discussion broadened and that doctors were telling me how it helped the, the issue and, and, uh, and more women were getting tested. But some say there was another side to the Angelina effect, women electing to have preventative surgery even if they don't need it. Anytime a uh, world-renowned celebrity uses their platform to bring awareness and education to a health issue, in my opinion, that's a win-win. The flip side is that this is a very emotionally charged issue and it's polarizing. Uh, people will say, uh, I think that decision is extreme. Less than 1% of the population carries the BRCA gene mutation that Angelina Jolie has. Oh, look how cute you are. For those women, the choices are stark. You say it changed your entire life path. I realized that I had an up to 50% chance of getting ovarian cancer and up to 87% chance of getting breast cancer. Los Angeles health writer Anna Gorman learned she had the BRCA gene when she was just 28 years old. What was going through the back of your mind? Fear that I didn't want to get cancer. I didn't want to die. I didn't want to, I just didn't want to worry about it and worry about getting cancer. Gorman always knew she was at risk. Her aunt, her grandmother and father all died of cancer. When you're armed with this information, you have to do something. I thought, I really need to do something about it. I need to get married, I need to have kids, I need to have surgeries, I need to make some decisions, and I need to do everything quickly. After giving birth to two daughters, Sadie and Twyla, Gorman decided on the same preventative surgery Jolie had. Doctors removed her ovaries. She was 32. Fear went out. And logic, that I knew that I had a high risk of getting ovarian cancer, and if I got it, that I had a risk of dying. She had a double mastectomy also. Today, Anna is cancer free. Her two daughters are 10 and 8. Each have a 50-50 chance of inheriting the same cancer gene. It changes the game for, for many, many women. How so? People are talking about it. People realize that if somebody like her, who's this beautiful, famous actress, can do this, then they can too. Just like Anna did, Jolie will now go through early menopause, becoming an unlikely face for something that usually affects women much older. I will not be able to have any more children, and I expect some physical changes, she writes, but I feel at ease with whatever will come.
surgical menopause can be more severe because it's crunched in over usually a period of a few days rather than a period of a few months to years. Uh, so it's like flipping a light switch. Symptoms can include hot flashes, sweating, changes in hair and skin, as well as an increased risk of osteoporosis and Parkinson's disease. But for many women, those risks outweigh the alternative, potentially deadly consequence of not taking any action. They've looked into a medical crystal ball. They've seen what their future or their medical destiny could have been, and they've taken aggressive steps uh, to change that, and that gives them a, a real sense of empowerment. When Jolie first got the news that she showed signs indicating the possibility of ovarian cancer, she said her famous husband was on a plane within hours, racing home from France to be by her side. As she waited on those tests to determine whether she did indeed have the disease that already killed three women in her family, Jolie says she lived in a haze attending this soccer game three days ago while trying to stay calm and focused. Today, she is cancer-free, writing, It is not possible to remove all risk, and the fact is I remain prone to cancer. I feel feminine and grounded in the choices I am making for myself and my family. I know my children will never have to say, Mom died of ovarian cancer. It's connected me so much to other families, other women, and, uh, you know, and, and now when I meet people, we don't talk as much about films, but we talk about their children or women's choices or their wives or, or just cancer in general. It's been a really beautiful journey. For Nightline, I'm Cecilia Vega in Los Angeles. So what do you think about preventive surgery? Is the choice worth the potential risk and side effects? Head to our Nightline Facebook page and let us know.